Hi, so next I want to show you how to do a domed lidded jar. So I actually have a jar already thrown and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have my ledge ready to go and I've already measured the ledge with the calipers. So I already have the calipers set. So my next step is going to be throwing the lid, the dome lid. And there are a lot of different lid styles. I'm going to show you the dome lid that is basically an upside down bowl form. So I need a much smaller ball of clay than I used for the jar. But this amount of clay that you need is really dependent upon the width that your lid will be and how tall you want your lid to be. So again, this is basically an upside down bowl when it's finished. So right now, I'm going to do a bowl type shape with a rounded bottom that will later be flipped over. That's what I mean by an upside down bowl. So I've centered my clay. I want to now just open up as I usually would. And I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch like I usually would. Only this time, instead of dragging my thumb straight across the bottom, I'm going to push down and curve up. So I'm going to move my thumb up the wall of the form and I'm going to do that repeatedly and that will begin to round the inside. I'll show you what I mean. So if you look inside there you'll see that it's rounded, it's not completely flat on the bottom. So I'm going to continue to pull up the wall while I'm rounding the inside and I can even go inside with the rib tool to get a really nice curve. I am going to want the shape of the lid to relate strongly with the shape of the pot. Right now I really like how that inside shape looks but the outside wall is way too thick. So I'm going to pull up a little bit and then I'm probably going to need to remove some rings of clay. But let's kind of see where I'm at measurement wise. Actually almost right at where I need to be. But I got to thin out those walls. There's too much clay here right now. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to pull up. So right now, for the proportion of my jar, this lid is way too tall, okay? So I'm going to shorten this a little bit. I still feel like I'm a little taller than I want to be, just a little bit. So I'm going to shorten it a tiny bit. Let's check sizing. I'm a little big. So that's fine, I'll just shorten it a little bit more and that will bring it down to size. So I'm going to use, this is just a chamois that has been cut up. It's like a chamois you would use to polish a car if I were to actually hand wash my vehicles, which I don't. Round that rim. Let's check that measurement. There's a lot of back and forth with jars. It needs to go out a little bit more. So you need to have a little patience with that, but it is worth it. I like a good fit in my lid. That 
it's looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up this outside a little bit. Do a final measurement check, make sure I don't need to go in or out a little bit. That looks good. So I'm gonna get the water out of the inside. And so this lid, I really jammed a lot of clay into that bat to get that bat to stay on, will fit nicely and relate visually to this pot. Okay, this will kind of give you an idea of what we're going for. And then when this comes off of the bat, I'm gonna be trimming the knob. I'm gonna be rounding the top of the form and then adding a little bit of clay and actually throwing the knob, not trimming the knob trimming the bottom in the round, and then throwing a knob on top.